hello guys welcome back to doll's house today guys i'm showing you guys how to do the perfect doll bangs every single time now i got requested to do uh, i got requested to do this video many times and it's really simple like all you need is a wet brush a rat tail comb and some shears of course uh yeah let's get into it i'm showing you guys how to do my two favorite bang hairstyles bang styles and yeah you guys know i love bangs i will give any doll bangs but i'm um, gonna be using bella mother freaking bella and um I hope I don't fall. Uh, and Stella. So I got the Bella and Stella two pack. Now, if you guys didn't get this two pack, what's going on with you? Like, this is a great two pack to have, to be honest, because it's two dollars for only twenty five bucks. I feel like it's really much. It's very worth it. Even though I don't even like, I don't even like fool with the um fool with the um junior high like that. But I think it's still cool to have. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I always wanted a Bella in this original Bella outfit. So, I'm happy to have him. And Stella, I don't know why Stella's, um, I keep wanting to say gremlin. Like, guys, forgive me. I call them gremlins. Oh, please. Um, I don't know why Stella's, Stella looks like she has no neck right there. Does she always look like that? I don't know. But I'm happy to have them. I'm hoping that they have neck articulation. Because if they don't... <sighs> That make me really sad. But yeah, these are the dolls I'm going to use. I'm going to unbox them and I'm going to see. So I'm going to give one doll bangs that kind of have like a curl to it. And one doll bangs that are just straight across. But yeah, let's just get them unboxed and let's do these, okay? All right. Yeah, that's what I like to see. That neck articulation. Yep, so it's confirmed. They definitely do have neck articulation. Yay! I thought I had neck articulation! Get her out! Get her out! Get her. Get, get her. Get. Oh. Yes. Freedom. Oh, yeah. Stella was actually the first doll from Rainbow High that I truly um liked. Yeah, and oh my gosh, <gasps> she was the first doll I've ever un unboxed from Rainbow High. Rainbow High. She was the first doll I ever unboxed. Wow, that's crazy. Now she's back with some neck articulation. Yes. Yeah, oh my gosh. Wow. Remember when she pushed that girl? She was like, move. Yeah, that was a time. We'll leave the gremlin in the box for now. She really has no neck. How does one fix that? Oh. Next. Bella. So after you give your doll a good shampoo and condition, you're going to want to detangle it with your um, wet brush or any detangling brush. And um, then you want to start mapping out where you want the bangs to be and what kind of bangs you want. So as we all know, every Rainbow High doll has a part line. Well, most of them anyways. And you, what you're going to want to do is work with the part line. So this Bella has a side part. So I'm kind of going to get make bangs that are kind of on an angle and um, work with the part because it's kind of hard to work against it. So I'm just making like an angle down on the side and just directing that hair forward. Um, and I'm going to be like clipping away the rest of the hair and putting it in a ponytail. And I want the bangs to look sort of like, um, this image. Now the biggest mistake I used to make when I first started doing doll bangs was taking too much hair and putting it into the bang. So you really want to put, take only like a thin amount. You can always make the bangs thicker if you want to, but you're going to want to play around with this part for a while and not rush it because... Once you cut that hair, there's no going back unless you reroute the doll. And it's going to look crazy having like shorter hairs outside of the bangs. So you're definitely going to want to try to take just a thin layer of hair, like a thin part line, and play around and like mold it with your fingers and see if that's where you want the bang to lie. And of course, 
when I, as you can see, I'm taking out hair as I go along because I don't want the bangs to look too thick. And like I said, you can always go back. After you're done cutting, you're going to want to just mold it with your fingers and the hairspray will help to do this. So like literally it just falls right into place once you put that hairspray on it and you just mold it with your fingers. And as you can see, she looks all pretty and dainty now with her curly bangs. And yeah, super simple, super easy. I didn't take too much hair so it doesn't look too thick. I used to hate when I did that. Um, Yeah, don't make the bangs too thick unless you want really thick bangs. Um, Yeah. Now I'm just taking down the rest of the hair and you're going to see how that hair just like falls right into place. Um, and you can see how you also don't see any um, bald spots. So that was another mistake I used to make back in the day where I would cut bangs and then there would be like a big bald spot, which I try not to do that anymore. So I'm like, as you can see, I'm working, I worked with the part line and that's the way you do it to prevent any balding or bald spots. Yep. Now moving on to Stella, it's the same thing, except she has like a middle part. So I'm trying to do bangs that are just straight across, like very blunt, very straight across. And I'm working with the part line and I'm just combing that hair forward and seeing how the hair naturally falls. So the, one of the biggest things when it comes to like cutting bangs is you want to work with the natural fall of the hair. You don't want to try to force the hair into something that it doesn't want to do. I mean, there's ways of like, kind of getting the hair to like stay if you try to force it but most times it's just gonna leave the bangs looking wonky so you're trying right now i'm just looking to see where the hair naturally just like lays forward and whatever hair goes forward i'm taking with me and whatever hair doesn't want to go forward i'm pulling back <laughs> As I pull the hair forward, I'm also taking away hair on sides and adding, just seeing. Um, actually, I'm saying right now, do not do that. Um, <laughs> don't add too much hair on the sides because it's going to look crazy, trust me. So it's best to have less. Less is more sometimes. And like I said before, you can always add it, but you can't. Uh, you can always add the hair, but you can't take it away. You know what I mean? Once you already cut that hair and it looks crazy it's gonna look crazy so less is more when you're trying to do bangs that are just like straight across you don't want to add too much on the sides because it because it tends to look really bad you kind of want to like have a bit of a triangular part that's the fringe area and don't go outside of that unless you're doing like a different bang style um yeah 
Now you're gonna wanna use your rat tail comb to map out where you want the hair to lie. And with this type of bang style, like, or with any bang style, you can go as short as you wanna go. But I always start off longer because, you know, it's better to do that way. And as you can see, I'm still removing hair because I don't want these bangs to be super thick and I don't want them to look um, wonky on the sides. <music> Right here, you can see that I'm um, actually losing my mind because I can't find my shears and I'm looking everywhere for them and they happen to be right under my chair. So yeah, love that for me. So when cutting hair or when cutting bangs, you're gonna wanna hold the hair taut, but like not too tight because you're gonna want the hair to like not have too much tension while you're cutting the bangs. And don't ever cut um, above your fingers, cut below your fingers. <music> Now, when you first cut the hair, it may look a little scary, but do not fear. It just takes a little shaping and a little playing around with. Um, sometimes you have to cut like multiple times, and I'm gonna show you guys a method I use to like kind of keep the bangs, um, laying flat. <music> Now you can keep the bangs like this if you like the wispy look, but I was going for like a more full like straight bangs kind of look, so I will be molding it to look like that. But as you can see, I worked with the part line and I just took out a thin layer of hair to cut into bangs. And she still has her middle part and she has her bangs and thank God no bald spots. <music> Now to mold the hair overnight, the first step you're going to want to do is put some hairspray and um, just wipe it down the full length of the bangs. And then you're going to want to place a rubber band around the bangs to sit overnight and allow it to dry. You can also use one of the um, slumber party masks as well to do this. Now it is the next day, her hair is completely dry and I'm gonna take off this rubber band and I'm gonna check these bangs. So her bangs are still a little too long for me so I'm gonna continue to cut them and play around with it until I get it to the exact way I want it to look.
and boom look at those straight bangs she looks so pretty i love it i love it i love it i love it it's all the bangs i stand i stand i stand guys don't be afraid to add a little more hairspray to calm down any like flyaways any little broken pieces of hair to make them look perfect and this is how they both came out this is two different bang styles one straight across and one with a little bit of curl and i honestly love both but mm, if i had to pick a favorite uh actually i can't pick a favorite i'm not going to i don't have to I like them both. But let me know in the comments, guys, which style you like better and which style you're going to try next. And on what doll. We're just moving into the um repaint and restyle part of this video so if you just came for the doll bangs you could click out like you could go no hard feelings but i'm just taking off stella's um lipstick because i wanted to try something a little different with her and i'm making sure i don't take off her mole because i love her mole <laughs> Since I disappeared, 
if you live Feeling like Feeling like Jericho Feeling like Joe when he lost his shit Gotta hold my own, my cards to bed alone now Way to deal, way to heal the food. No, you like that shit. Yeah.